Hey, what's up guys? It's FIFA RK here and today we are going to be going through the FIFA 17 top 20 fastest players on FIFA 17 Ultimate Team or FIFA 17 in general. So basically guys, the first player we are going to be going through is Castillo. I think that's how proud to pronounce his name. He's got 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, but third foot is his right. High attack, low defensive, 5 foot 8 and he's got 93 pace. So that's one of the players on the game who is really quick he doesn't play for the best league in the world so he's gonna be quick but FIFA's not about pace at the end of the day now going on to the next player who used to play in the Russian League who's now moved to Leicester City and his name's Musa with the four star skills three star weak foot he's gonna be a good player if FIFA this year is about pace he's gonna be really good because Leicester City won the Premier League last year so this year he could be a good starter, um, squad builder to use him, and if he's cheap at the start, he might be really good because he's got that 93 pace. High attack here, high medium, uh, medium work rates, preferred for his right, 5 foot 9, so he's quite small as well, which is not too shabby. Now, moving on to the next player who plays for Bayern Munich, Kingsley Coman, who currently has 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, preferred for his right, minimum attack here, low defensive, 5 foot 10, with that 93 pace going in there. He had a really good season at Bayern Munich, so they've gave him 93 pace, so he's one of the quickest um, like strikers on the game, so he'll be a good player to use uh, on the game, and he'll be quite overpowered hopefully when FIFA 17 does come out. Now moving on to the next player we have is at Bromar, Bromar um, plays for Galatasaray, 4 star weak foot, 4 star skills, preferred for his right, high attack here, mid defensive, 5 foot 8, so he's quite small, he'll get past players quite easily. And again, with the 93 pace, 83 dribbling, 70 shooting, 70 passing, eight, uh, 58 physical stat, 28 defending. But his stat there is his pace, which is 93, which is amazing. Now, as you see, the uh, Barcelona, Jordi Alba, who's a brilliant player, by the way. He's probably going to go for a lot of coins when the game comes out because he's an 86 rated, guys. I think he's gone up two ratings. I'm not too sure, but an 86 rated this year is amazing for him. He's got three star width for three star skills. Preferred for his is left. High attack here, but medium defensive, 5 foot 7, 93 pace again. The 93 pace of left back is really good. He can get up and down a pitch. And this player this year, he's going to be a bomb. If you've got the money to go out there and buy him, I would recommend you when the game comes out. But he's going to be a lot of money. So when the game comes out. Now, as you see, the next player we have is Raham Sterling, who currently plays for Manchester City. He had a really poor season last year. But this year, at the start of the new Premier League season, he's played very well for Man City because Man City have got obviously their new manager and Sterling seems to fit in with this new manager. I don't know if it's just in and out of managers moving out. But Sterling seems to fit in nicely with that four star skills, two star weak foot, first of his right, high attacking mid defensive, five foot seven, and that 93 pace again. He's going to be really expensive due to the fact he's English as well. Now, moving on to the Liga 1, the PSG. As you see last year, we have Lucas, who's 5 foot 8, medium attacking, medium defensive, third foot is right, 3 star weak foot, 4 star skills, and again, 93 pace, a Brazilian player who's going to be extremely expensive because he plays in Liga 1, which is probably the best. Um, probably Liga BV, uh, Liga BV? Uh, Liga 1, sorry, with PSG, he's probably going to be really expensive in that league due to the fact that he's Brazilian and he plays right wing. And he has got that 93 pace, which is not too bad. Now, we're moving on to the shiny silver player who's got 94 pace. Amazing. He is going to be abused on the game. The guy Jonas with two star weak foot, three star skills. Preferred for his left, minimum attacking, minimum defensive, five foot nine. As you see, this guy is going to be a lot of money. He doesn't play in the best league, but with that 94 pace, he's going to be going for quite a bit of money on the game. Now, moving on to, I think this is Mane, well, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, but he's got four star skills, two star weak foot, third foot is right, high attack and defensive, five foot nine, 94 pace as well, pace in the MLS league, so he's going to be a good player to use, especially when the MLS tournament comes out this year on FIFA 17, he'll be so expensive because that 94 pace. Now, moving on to the next player, we have 
Uldemende, who's got four star skills, three star weak foot, preferred for his right, high attacking, mid defensive, five foot nine, 94 pace again. He's going to be really expensive due to the fact he's really, really quick. Now, moving on to the next player we have right here. This guy used to play for Arsenal. I swear he used to, if I'm getting a bit confused here. But this guy used to play for Arsenal. He's got four star weak foot, four star skills, um, high attacking, mid defensive. Both of his right six foot tall, so he's quite tall as well, so he can get in the box and score some headers. 94 pace as well, and he's going to like cause people a lot of threat when he's been playing against other people on the team. Now, Jefferson has got four star skills, two star weak foot, both of his left mid attacking mid defensive five foot nine. Again, with the 94 pace, these cards are coming out nicely with the 94 pace and the 93 pace, but this guy's got 94 pace, which is not too bad. Now, Moving on to Hector, who's got four star, weak foot, three star, so he's perfect as his right, medium attack, medium defensive, five foot eight, and as you see, as a right mid, which is not too shabby. He's Argentina as well with 94 pace. Now, as you see, the big boy plays for Real Madrid, 90 rated, has got upgraded this year. He plays for Real Madrid is Bale, four star skills, three star, weak foot, perfect as left, high attack, mid defensive, six foot tall, and 94 pace. He's going to be smashing down that wing, maybe a million coins, 1.5 million when the game comes out, who knows. Now, moving on to the next player, we have Asante, who's got four star, weak foot, two star skills, third foot is right, high attack, but low defensive, five foot seven, so he's quite small, and he's got 95 pace. This guy is so quick, how are you so quick, mate? But this guy's got 95 pace, he's going to be expensive due to the fact he's quite quick, and he's a silver card. Now, moving on to this Jugun Dam. 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill, perfect is right, high attack and uh, medium defensive, 6 foot 2, so he's really tall to be honest, with 95 pace, tall, 95 pace, in the box, ball into the box, he's going to score headers for you and he's quite quick. Now this guy plays for Arsenal, uh, Hector Bellerin, he's got 3 star weak foot, 3 star skills, preferred for his right, high attack and medium defensive, 5 foot 10, 95 pace again, if you're going to be building a cheap Premier League team at the start of FIFA 17, I, rec I wouldn't recommend buying him because he's going to be expensive, but he has got 95 pace and that is really quick for a right back. Now, this guy, Jonathan Diaby, he's got three star weak foot, three star skills, preferred for his right, high attacking mid defense, uh, high attacking and low defensive, sorry, five foot ten, 95 pace again. He's French, so he can link up with the French uh, nationality, and he's a little good player. He used to be quite quick on his old cards, his old generation of cards, but this card is quite good. He's only a 76 rate this year, so it's not too shabby. Now, moving on to Bolly. We all remember this guy, guy um, people. Bolly is amazing, 96 pace, I swear his pace was higher than that last year or the year before that, but 96 pace for a silver card is absolutely outstanding with 4 star weak foot, 3 star skills, preferred for his right, high attacking, low defensive, 6 foot 1 as well, but 96 pace he's going to go for a lot of money. Now moving on to the last player is a Bang Yang who plays for Dortmund, as you see he has got 96 pace. Uh, four star weak foot, three star skills, preferred for his right, high attack here, low defensive, six foot two. This guy was overpowered on FIFA 16. So FIFA 17, he's going to be even more overpowered, hopefully. With 96 pace, 80 dribbling, and 84 shooting, this card is at least going to go for 40 to 50 to 60k on the game when it gets released on the day. But 96 pace is amazing. So, guys, that is the top 20 of the quickest players pace wise on the game hopefully you guys have enjoyed it please if you have enjoyed the video please give it a like if you want to see more on my channel please subscribe and i'll see you guys later Oops.